Good evening. I'd like to call the October 13, 2016 school committee meeting to order. Mr. Halsey? Uh, yes, we'd like to call the Board of Selectmen to order. Mr. Robinson. Uh, move to enter into executive session to discuss uh, strategy with respect to litigation and to come and to return to uh, open session at approximately 9 o'clock. Uh, 845. 845. Do, I Do I entertain a motion from the Board of Selectmen? Similar. Uh, move to go, go into executive session uh, for the purpose of discussing lit, uh, strategy for litigation. The chair, the chair having determined that uh, public disclosure uh, would be adverse to the interests of the town. Second. And both to those come out to come into open session again around 8:30. And yes. both of those motions should name the, the uh, case that you're discussing strategy with respect to. So, okay. so moved. <laughs> I'll, I'll amend mine to do that. That's okay. Did I hear a second? Second. <coughs> Thank you, Mrs. Trice. Mrs. Evans? Yes. Mrs. Dr. Yes. Dr. Yes. 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 We're adjourned. Okay. Proceed. Okay. We're going to bring the um, Board of Selectmen on October 13th back into a public session. <coughs> and we've got a couple of pieces of business, not a lot. Um, they are pretty much focused around what will be upcoming on our, tw on our meeting on the 25th, and they really are tied to um, discussions around special town meeting. Um, we, as as we know, we're going to probably be hearing from the school committee with a request, which we'll need to take up at the appropriate time. But we've got a secondary issue that I'm going to have Bob um, share with all of you so that you've got a little heads up on the 25th. Um, thanks, John. We're going to ask that the board call a special town meeting within the subsequent all by itself. At some point, uh, I'll ask council to exactly phrase it. But on the 25th, you'll be closing a warrant for a special town meeting that is going to ask for a special act. Um, I'll give you a quick history of this. This is on liquor licenses. <coughs> the town has a certain <coughs> belief in what it has for liquor licenses. <coughs> Only recently did we learn, because the ABCC is going electronic and online, that the ABCC has a different opinion of that. <laughs> and this is going to become especially important next summer <coughs> or next fall when they turn their si online system live and an applicant can go directly to them and coming instead of coming <coughs> to town hall mm -hmm. and if they believe we have licenses that we don't think we have then they then we do so a special act will clear up any discrepancy between what the state believes and what the town believes the reason and and the fastest way and the only way to do it this quickly is a special act a different option would have been to go to the voters um, two years from now, three, three times in a row. Yeah. So, Bob, what's the delta on what we think we have and what they I think don't know, we have? Five licenses. Well, yeah, I mean, uh, that's stuff that we'll take up when we get yeah. to that. You get you know, to the details. Just, but, yeah. And Bob is going to be preparing some material that'll be circulated in our packets so that we've mm -hmm. got that information. Mm -hmm. But um, in talking about this, I, I attended a meeting with uh, Bob and uh, with Ray and also with um, the, the two chiefs, you know, because they're, it's all relative to public safety and, you know, the whole alcohol thing. And, and it just, um, <coughs> it's clear that there's some housekeeping that needs to get clarified. I mean, it's kind of that simple. Um, and the details of which will probably, I mean, given this late hour, it's probably not a good time for us to get into all of those details, nor are we prepared. You'll have a packet, you'll have something in your packet okay. in advance. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and then you know can act on it but it, i wanted to give you a heads up that there would be you know another <coughs> special town meeting for us to consider on the 25th um along with the one on the school that the that we expect um will be coming from the school committee and the reason for a second john is because we're not in, in a position where we can draft the warrant article in time for the secondary issue to, to make the closing we, on the 25th we could but i think and i'd, I'd leave it with ray 
<coughs> to have two different special town meetings, and the moderator asked me the same question, yeah. means if there's any hang up in one, oh, right, at least yeah. the other business can finish. Yeah, right. that, oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. And so we're, it's unclear on mm -hmm. one, you know, the one that we just discussed, the one that Bob just briefed you on. Yeah. Um, I know Ray and um, one of his associates are going to put together <coughs> what we need to be able to actually act in a you know in a cogent way towards a warrant in plenty of time for the 25th so we know that you know based on what your pleasure is that'll either go forward or it won't based on the discussion um, to tie them together when we're it, it's a little unclear uh, on the second one I think it really is important to have them stand on in a standalone basis and you know we're going to be in there a long time anyway right. and it's really a matter of <coughs> it's a matter of parliamentary formality um, internally during the you know during the town meeting as to whether you have one extra one special or one extra special extra specials are like always it. good yes, uh, absolutely. so um, <laughs> I think for purposes of um, any voting this evening I, I don't see any I can't see any reason to be doing any voting this evening okay this is more informational yeah. than anything else I appreciate and, um, that. thank you um, we were here for a previous meeting it posted for a public meeting and I thought it was important to get that out there that uh, mm -hmm. we've got uh, town meeting you know special town meetings to discuss and more details will follow both in your packet and in our in our usual manner which, where we <coughs> you know start talking about it and, um, and I take you down a long and winding road that lasts too long always <laughs> so, um, I don't think we have any other business for this evening. Yes. Do you, you have an update at all about um, the library lights? An update about the library lights? I don't. I don't have much, but um, the, the lighting <laughs> consultant has given the town many solutions, <coughs> and as of last Monday, they had all failed. So the town facilities staff has been instructed to turn the lights off when the library is not open well, manually at night. Um, the long-term plan is that 15 minutes after the library closes, the lights will automatically go off. But right now, that was not working again as of Monday. They w it will eventually be fixed. And <clears throat> there is a, so there's a question on the operation of the lights, and then there's a question of the brightness of the lights. And there's been a consultant who has, in theory, done a study and has not yet forwarded us the results to say whether they're within or not within compliance. Mm -hmm. um, regardless of whether they're within or not within, uh, we've discussed with the neighborhood a need to, al to make an alternative plan. <coughs> so we have, that's difficult because if we fully own the building free and clear and the project had been done years ago, we would fix it. It's on us. But where it's still an active project, we have to be careful that we don't step on someone's toes and then they say oh that's all yours now mm -hmm. you have to pay for it so we're trying to come up with a solution that it's just too bright it's clearly just too bright and we will fix that uh, so in the, in, the, in the short run the answer is turn them off <coughs> which isn't a great solution in the long run it'll be fixed yep. so the limited, very limited lights eventually during the night or say not as bright the as they are now right right right, right. yeah you know generally the library closes either at five o'clock or nine o'clock depending on the day of the week um, if the lights stayed on um, you know, to nine o'clock on the nights they close at five they're just too bright right now in the long run if they're an acceptable level, maybe it's not so bad to always turn them off at nine. That's a discussion we'll have in the future. Figure that out. And I'm glad you asked that question. My error, we are in a regular meeting, and I yeah. neglected to open the floor to public comment and would like to do that at this time. If there's any public comment uh, for the Board of Selectmen, please speak now or save it till the next time. Um, everybody's happy, huh? Um, and so is there any business that any of um, my associates have that they'd like to bring up? Nope. Motion to adjourn. Second. I'll retain that. Second. Wait a minute. What are you doing? Closing. Closing it up. You don't want to adjourn yet. We don't. Well, they're the going to talk. The school committee is coming to order. 
With, okay. Withdrawn. <laughs> <All right>. <laughs> <laughs> withdrawn. Just in case. Yeah, withdrawn my second. Um, do you mind if I? Please go right ahead. Business? Um, actually, to Mr. Hall's point, very good point. We immediately went to executive session after um, coming into open session a couple of hours ago. We didn't ask for public comment. So if there's anyone this evening who has public comment, please make yourself known. Okay. Seeing none, um, I believe I have a motion. <coughs> Move to request that the that the Board of Selectmen call for a special town meeting to address the high school construction litigation. Second. Second. Thank you. Um, I have a press release, and given the nature and the complexity of this issue, um, it will be made available to anybody who's interested tonight, but I am going to rely on that <coughs> just to make a <coughs> statement about <coughs> this situation. Um, at a joint meeting this evening of the Reading Board of Selectmen and the School Committee, the Reading School Committee voted to request, oh, we are about to vote, hopefully, to request that the Board of Selectmen vote to call a special town meeting during November town meeting to address the high school construction litigation with TLT Construction Corporation that began in 2007. Um, my understanding is that the Board will take up this at a future meeting in October. Uh, at the special town meeting, the timeline of events over the last decade will be reviewed, a funding vote will be requested, and the settlement process will be outlined in order to ensure that no funds from operating budgets will be impacted. The Reading Memorial High School construction project began in 2004, and TLT Construction <coughs> Corporation was the general contractor for the project. In the fall of 2007, TLT filed a lawsuit in Middlesex Superior Court against the town of Reading, claiming that the town owed additional money for work performed under the contract. In response, the town filed a counterclaim alleging that TLT did not complete the contract work on time and that the town had to correct various parts of the project work TLT did perform. In 2013, after several years of the litigation discovery process and attempts at reaching a settlement with TLT, the court referred the case to a special master, a retired judge, who conducted a hearing process in lieu of a trial in the Superior Court. The Hearings began in December 2013 and concluded in March of 2015. Closing arguments were presented in July of 2015. Since that time, the master has been preparing and issuing to the parties draft decisions on the various issues that make up the matters in dispute. These issues include payment to TLT for asbestos abatement work, the town's replacement of the outdoor track, compensation to TLT for additional work outside the scope of the contract, correction of site work and liquidated damages for failure to complete the work on time. The first draft ruling was issued in January of 2016, so this is the past January, and the most recent ruling, which left only a small portion of the claim still to be decided, was issued in September of 2016. The net result of these rulings to date is approximately $3 million in TLT's favor. If the process continued, each party would have the opportunity to respond to the draft rulings and proposed revisions, and the special master would then prepare a final report to Superior Court. Under the applicable legal procedure, the court would review the master's final report and may adopt it, reject it in whole or in part, or send it back to the master with instruction for additional action. Ultimately, the Superior Court would enter a judgment in the case, whether on its first receipt of the special master's report or after such additional action by the master as it may order. On account of the volume of material to be reviewed, a Superior Court judgment would not be expected until sometime well into 2017. By Massachusetts statute, a court judgment is subject to 12% annual interest, and interest would apply from the date the complaint was filed in November 2007. As a result, the amount of the judgment would now be more than double. <coughs> if the final court judgment was issued in late 2017, it is expected that the total amount could be close to $7 million in TLT's favor. Given these circumstances, the school committee and TLT have reached a tentative settlement agreement in the amount of $6 million, subject to town meeting approval. If approved by town meeting, the settlement would be paid through three sources of funding, remaining funds from the Reading Memorial High School building project, approximately $800,000, certified free cash and borrowing, with the debt being paid off over a period of several years. No operating budget funds would be utilized, and the rest of the override election would not have an impact on the funding sources for the settlement. It should also be noted that the override vote scheduled for October 18th is to support the operating budget for the town and the schools and has no real impact on the capital plan. The override was not required because of this legal settlement. As a, res as a result of this settlement, it is ex expected that capital projects currently on the 10-year capital plan, for example, roof, roof replacements, field replacements, capital equipment, would be pushed out additional years into the future in order to disperse the impact. 
Town officials are also exploring the possibility of additional MSBA, that's Massachusetts School Building Authority, reimbursement funding for the high school project. As several people have understandably inquired, town and school officials want to also clarify and emphasize again that this issue is not related in any way to the need for an override ballot question. Even if the litigation had been resolved years ago, an operational override would be necessary at this time to sustain current services of the towns and schools and to address the structural deficit in the operating budgets that have been developing over the last several years. Revenue from an override <coughs> would successfully address those identified deficits. Although litigation has taken years, it was a process that legal counsel at the time believed was the best course of action. After almost a decade-long process, however, the school committee supports moving forward on a settlement in order to bring the litigation process to a necessary close and to position our towns and schools for the future. And um, Bob, I don't know if you had anything else that you'd wanted to say on that. Um, no, but just to reemphasize the financing uh, portion, um, you know, if six million dollars is the final figure as it appears. 800000 is from an existing construction fund under the authority of the school committee. Some amount of free cash, um, I would recommend a million two at this point, but we haven't had our free cash certified, so I don't know for sure, um, would, would be suggested at town meeting, and the remaining four million would be borrowed over a period of a few to several years. Uh, it, it really depends on the interest rate environment. So in theory, what will be requested of a special town meeting is the authorization to use some free cash and a separate authorization to borrow. And just to emphasize the point again, most clearly, this debt is not going out to the voters for a vote. This debt is part of the capital plan and part of the general operation of the town uh, and, its, and its capital plan. It's done inside the tax levy. <clears throat> the remaining high school project, um, as it was originally funded, was done with an exclusion, <coughs> and it's outside the tax levy, and this has no bearing on that. So there will be no additional taxpayer costs for this settlement in that sense. But there will be a delay of capital purchases otherwise planned, certainly. Thank you. Are we ready for a vote? All those in favor? It's five zero. <coughs> so if I may, Jean, we're still in session. Um, and we had a we had a small discussion earlier about um, an upcoming agenda for October 25th, with an anticipation that you would have a vote and make such a request of us, <coughs> um, have a special town meeting. And I think all of us are briefed and you know ready for that. I think the only reason that would slow us from such a vote tonight is that typically we do that with a warrant in hand, um, and so. Um, we're hopeful that we can, you know, craft, have a warrant crafted by the time we meet next. It is our, um, I mean, we certainly, first of all, hear your request. Secondly, understand it. Um, happy that we're, at least personally, I'm happy that we're getting to resolution. Um, and I think all of us are, uh, you know, are ready to, I can't speak for the other four, but I think we're certainly all ready to take this up and, and uh, move forward for town meetings consideration. Any other comments or questions that you guys no, would have? It. No. Um, but we we certainly want to let you know. We'll let you and the you know and the public know tonight that we're certainly ready to embrace that in the in the normal course of our next meeting, which would be the logical time for us to do that with a warrant in hand. So. October twenty fifth. Yep. Yes. Anything else from the committee? All those in favor? 5-0. We're adjourned. Move to adjourn, Mr. Chairman. Second. No. Se second. Okay. No, you can't second it. <laughs> no, is there a second? Second. All in favor. Come on, boys. Everybody, wake yeah. up. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. All in favor? We're out. Eight to four.